not, but I'm saying in there that they're going to pay that implementation fee that today I'm waiving. I think it's. You just think, forget it. I just think it's, it's. You know, the thing is, is there's already enough complexity in the pricing, right? Because you've got the cleanup pricing, you've got the, you've got the ongoing monthly pricing, you've got that implementation fee that you're waiving, or the reduction of the cleanup, right? So there's a lot of complexity there, and I think adding in more clauses, I just want to keep it simple. I would personally not recommend doing that, but you know, at the end of the day, if you try it and, and it works, like the most important thing is that you get a sale. So if you want to do that and you want to try it out, that's fine. If you start doing that and then you stop closing anybody, even when they're good clients, then, then stop it. I would recommend not to do that because it adds complexity. And that amount of money is not going to make a huge difference. Implementation fees typically two, typically two grand. That really doesn't make a difference in whether or not the engagement was profitable. If you price this way, you're going to make sure that you defend yourself with a $250 an hour rate on cleaning up the, the account as well as getting the ongoing monthly fee that's on the right to your pricing, you will have made money on that even though it was three months and they left, just not as much as you would have in the long run if they stayed for five to seven years.